Hi guys, Brianna Nobles, the witch next door here, and we're gonna be doing a do us a flavor Lay's taste test. So if you're wondering about the glasses, my contacts were just bothering me, so I kind of decided to go with those today for this video. Anyway, so today we are doing a do us a flavor Lay's taste test. I think this is a yearly thing where they have fans submit ideas for flavors and they pick the top four to where we get to try them and vote on our favorite one to keep it as an all-time flavor. So I have all four here and we're going to give them a try. Up first we have Kettle Cooked Greek Town Euro submitted by James Wagner. And if you want to know more about them, I, they have a little information on the back if you get your own bag. But we're just going to try the chip. I like gyros. I know a lot of people will mispronounce them and call them gyros. I used to be one of them, but I love a nice like beef and lamb gyro. So I'm kind of excited about this. I don't know how I feel about them in a chip, but I do like kettle chips as well. So mm. kind of has a very beefy flavor and kind of weedy. I guess the weedy would be the uh, the soft pita bread that the gyro is in. And then you definitely smell the potato. Look at it. You see all the little flavor specks. It's a nice crunchy chip. All right, so Greek Town Euro. Mmm. Wow. So I don't know if I would know it's a Euro in a blind taste test, but knowing it's a Euro. You can really taste the tzatziki sauce, which kind of has a cucumbery flavor. You have the feta, the beef is right there, up there with the uh, tzatziki sauce. And it's, it's really good, I like this one. I would probably get it again. Mm. Yeah, I like this one. I would give this a nine out of 10. I really enjoy this one. Next up we have a New York Reuben. This was submitted by Jeff Zolinski. Jeff Zolinski. So, New York Reuben. Uh, I like Reubens. I'm actually not a corned beef fan, so I don't know how I'll feel about these. Ooh, wow, yes, you are instantly hit with that vinegary scent of uh, the sauerkraut. Kind of like a salt and vinegar chip, but I, but I kind of have that meaty scent of... Kind of looks like a barbecue chip. There's no like little flakes of flavor. And it's just a regular chip, it's not kettle cook. Oh my god. That does it tastes like a Reuben. There's like no doubt that, that is a Reuben. Wow. As far as flavor being hit, mark on. That it's really good actually. I would give this a 10 out of 10. Even though I'm not a huge fan of corned beef, it's actually really good in this chip. I like the potato with it. Um, yeah, these are good. This next one I was like, hmm. But I know my mother is very excited. She actually wants this particular bag as soon as I'm done with this taste test. Southern biscuit and gravy. in a potato chip. Now, I am from the South. I am from Georgia. I know what biscuit and gravy should taste like. So we are going to see because it says Southern Biscuit right there. Let's see if it holds up to the hype. Ooh, again, you're just like hit with the scent of the gravy. The gravy and the sausage. I can smell it when I like open up this bag and that is amazing to me. It's so freaky. So these are regular potato chips as well, not uh, kettle cooked. And you can kind of see the little flakes of flavoring. Not as much as put on the uh, kettle cooked gyro. Wow. Mm. It tastes like biscuit and gravy. More like a fast food biscuit and gravy. But it's, it definitely does. It tastes like biscuit and gravy. That is so crazy. I would probably give this a 7 out of 10. It's 
still a little bit weird to have this particular thing as a chip because, you know, biscuit is like nice and wet with the gravy, but I think my mom is really going to enjoy these. 7 out of 10 does taste like biscuit and gravy, which just blows my mind. All right, one flavor left. Wavy West Coast Truffle Fries. I have never had a truffle fry, so this will be interesting. I won't be able to tell you if they exactly taste like a truffle fry, but they look delicious by that picture. It looks like there's like maybe some shaved truffle, Parmesan cheese, a little bit of green stuff. Uh, that could be just about any herb, but yeah, this looks, I'm going to say that's chive, probably chive, but it looks really, really good. I mainly smell potato when I open it up, which kind of makes sense since they're fries. But look at these. That is gorgeous. It's a nice crinkle cut. They look really nice and roasted. You have nice little specks, kind of like in a sour cream and onion chip. All right. Oh my god. Again, I've never had trouble fries, so I can't tell you. Tell you they taste exactly like that, but they kind of taste similar to Parmesan garlic fries, but with less garlic. Oh, they're really yummy. I don't know. They, they It's like a cross between Parmesan garlic fries and I guess sour cream and onion. Not as quite as sharp. It's hard for me to describe. It's good though. I like these. I kind of want to go and try these fries now. I'm going to give these a 9 out of 10. All of these were delicious. Mm. Oh my gosh. So good. Go and try those. I don't even know which one I would really vote on. They're so yummy. I kind of want them all to stay. I know my mom's going to want that gravy and biscuit to stay. But wow, those were actually really amazingly accurate. Go Lay's. All of them sounded delicious. They all tasted delicious. I'm happy with all of these. I'm going to have to go and hide them or I'm going to get even fatter. Good job, Lays. Really enjoyed those. Have you guys tried any of these yet? If so, what's your favorite? Which one are you going to go and vote for at the Lays website? Because I don't know. I'm very conflicted. I actually really love Euros, so I kind of want these to stay around. Yeah, look, I'm going to eat another one. Mm. So good. The Reuben, amazingly like a Reuben. All of them just tasted like what they were supposed to. I guess if I was going to have to vote on one... Maybe the Reuben, which surprises me because I don't like corned beef, but that was really good and it tastes a lot like a Reuben. So that was my Lay's Do Us a Flavor taste test with the four flavors they have released this year. If you have tried any of these, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Do you think they were like weirdly accurate for a potato chip? Let me know in the comments what you think. Give this video a like if you found it entertaining or agreed with me at all. It just helps with my self-esteem. Be sure to subscribe to for more taste tests. And I'm also going to be doing some history of foods because I think it's very interesting how certain foods came around, like nachos and tacos. I love Mexican food. But like cannolis. Is there anything you're, you have ever wondered how did this come about? Ask me in the comments. I will do a video just for you. And until next time, happy snacking. Go and try these and let me know what you think.